What's up, everybody? Hopalong Games, Couch Co-op, sitting here with myself, McLeaniac, Agro, and Kirok. And today is the first episode of this. What is this? Is this a podcast? Is this a vlog? Is this? Uh, a, I would say more of a podcast. Let's just call it a series. The first episode of this series, Couch Co-op, in which. Um, we get wicked drunk. No, we don't. We just have a beer and we talk. Maybe we do. Who knows? Who knows? Know the night's still young. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we discuss all that there is to discuss about video games. Yeah. And there's lots to discuss. There's a lot. Yeah. We got a whole bowl full of things to discuss today. Um, I think what we'd like to do is base our episodes on the comments. Like We, uh, we want people to suggest what we're going to talk about. Obviously, we're going to need more than one episode to do so. So, in the interim, we have the top bowl. The topic bowl. Can and make sure that we have stuff in there. There. There you go. There, oh yeah, that's true. Bunch of topics. I if I could reach all the way out, I would. There are topics in here. Don't don't peek. You can almost read one. I didn't fold them very well. I'm gonna put this down here, and the director is certainly interested. Say hi, Dexter. Hey, Dexter. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, he wants nothing to do with us. <laughs> What's, uh, what are we drinking today? So, wait, wait. I think what we should do... Okay, we'll talk that. We'll say that. And then just do a quick, like, who you are gaming introduction. Cool. Oh, you're waiting on me? <laughs> okay, hold on. Here's what I'm drinking. All right. It was actually uh, something you picked out, right? Yes. Bench. It's a brewing company. Bench Brewing Company. 20 Mile Farmhouse Ale. It's actually really good. It's not bad? No, it's not bad at all. It's really nice. nice. There you go. It doesn't have a squirrel on it. I tried. That's all right. <laughs> they can't all have squirrels. Yeah. <laughs> so who are you? What are you doing who on my couch? I? I'm uh, I'm the guy who just walked in and said, hey, let's do this. No, I'm just kidding. I, um, I'm Kirok, and uh, I'm a gamer. Love gaming. Uh, it's a different story if I'm good at gaming. <laughs> I enjoy that you're not, to be honest. I'm, I'm not that's, the greatest at games. I'm not. <laughs> I like chirping okay. you on the stream. I enjoy no, games. Good. I really yeah. like games. I love games, especially games that take you on a ride, a story. Um, some roller coaster tycoon. Yeah, uh, but but I get frustrated <laughs> by some games. Like I'm playing or, or at, at Horizon Zero Dawn now. Yeah. And I've never been so frustrated with a game, and then like the game all at the same time. There were times where I wanted to pull the disc out and snap it. Okay. But anyways, that I'm, I digress. I'm going a little further there. No, so, that's good. So deep. I game, I stream. Uh, I'm not going to plug. <laughs> you can. We'll, you can. We'll, 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 we'll have some like super well, we'll, we'll do like, that. We, we can plug wow. each of ours because you're streaming and you're streaming, right? So that's pretty cool. I'll probably plug the YouTube channel. Right now I'm really focused on just videos up on YouTube. Yeah. And I'll stream as well. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I, uh, I do a podcast with another... Uh, gaming community, uh, Bottle Rocket Gaming, and I also am part of another gaming community called Project Singularity, where we just kind of hang out and play games, and once a week we make it a point to get together and just play online, so it's cool. That's me. Cool. Hey, I'm Agro. Uh, right now, I'm drinking Summer's Bee Cider. This was Care of Kirok today. Um, it's pretty tasty. I love ciders. It's a little on the sweet side, which is really nice. Um, I'm digging it. It's good. A uh, little bit about me. I am also a gamer. I'm also not a very good gamer, um, but I have a lot of fun with it. Uh, lately, I've been playing a lot of HOTS, and I'm also streaming that every so often on Twitch. It's hey, it's aggro. Nice. Um, otherwise, I play a lot of Nintendo games. Um, there's a few computer games that I'm also playing right now. Heroes, obviously. I uh, also play a little bit of World of Warcraft. A little bit? Can you see it? A like, little yeah, bit, yeah. yeah there it is. Yeah. <laughs> My collector's editions. Yeah. I have two of the no big Wrath deal. of the Lich King ones. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> some people have none. Some people have none. So you know what? <laughs> I'm I'm ahead already. Um, that's pretty much it about me. Right on. I'm a Kleniac. Uh Never played a game before, but really looking to try this out. You know, a lot of people say they're fun. Just want to see what it's all about. You know? <laughs> no, just kidding. Born with a controller in my hand. I grew up playing games. I uh, used to have to fight with both of my brothers. 
uh, for time in front of the console. Uh, so very competitive. I love playing some online competitive games, but I also get very frustrated. Do I get frustrated? Oh my god, so frustrated. I get frustrated. I'm probably the ragiest gamer when we're playing online stuff, but you know, that's, totally that's just me. I'm going to make videos. You'll be able to, you know, see what that rage looks like on my YouTube channel. Uh, and I will be streaming as well. I uh, love indie games, love strategy games, shooters, a little bit of everything. I like a balanced diet of video games. Mm -hmm. You know, if they had that, like, you know, like the food groups oh, and all yeah, that, like, yeah. I try to get a little bit of every Re food Recommended group. food groups. Yeah. yeah, you know, a little bit of everything. So, that's me. And today I'm drinking a Great Lakes Brewery. It's actually their 30th anniversary. Uh, so I'm drinking a Sunside Session IPA. It's one of the joys of the summer is that all the Session Ales are out. Delightful. And this is Dexter. Hello, Dexter. He's our director. Director. He's going to hang out with us quite a bit. He bit me earlier. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, really hard. Totally my fault. Yeah, he doesn't mess around. So I don't blame him. He's going to do it again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there he goes. This is all you right. Know, this is so nice. Since he's a director, if he doesn't like what he sees, he just bites. He doesn't get yeah, right. yeah. He can't say cut. Yeah, so, so he's so going to bite. Like, Arr. Arr. <laughs> and that's when he knows it's done. He looks pissed right now. He looks really pissed right now. <laughs> there you go. You get bit next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that look. All right. So okay. the big old bowl of topics beckons you, Giuseppe. So, Damn okay. It. All right. Rock. <laughs> it's all good. It's all I'm good. used to that. Uh, there are times when I'm, I'm streaming, I'm playing games, and I'm like, oh, you just screwed up, Joe. Hold and, on. And then I go, like, I mean, Kirok. Yeah, I don't know who Joe is. Should we do that again, then? What? Thing? No. No. What? All right. No, it's all good. Just take us as we are. So I'm mixing up the topic bowl. Yeah. Don't look. I'm not, well, okay. I'm, I'm looking to make sure they don't fall on the ground. I'm not looking yeah. at what's written on them. We can see Whoops. you. Oh, there you go. I think that Dexter chose Dexter, one. Dexter chose All one. All right. <laughs> okay. The first topic is chosen. Okay. Here we go. Read it on Most that. complicated game. All right. Most complicated game. Most complicated game. Now, we're not claiming that we know what the most complicated game is. We're more just commenting on what what the most complicated game we've ever played. Okay. Okay. So, right away, my brain's going to try to figure out which one. I have my answer, if I can jump in first. Go for it. Yeah. The most complicated game that I've ever played is EVE Online. I don't know if you ever heard of uh, EVE yes. Online. Yeah, it's I agree like, with that. I played with the idea of playing. It's, I have to say, it's, for a complicated game, like, I don't knock it for being a comfort. You have, you have a hair. full cat out of cat hair on you. <laughs> it's a very complicated game in the sense that it's, it's not just one of those jump in and everything's easy and you, you have all these fun battles and you die and you restart no sweat. You literally start as nothing, and you're completely broke, Yeah. and you have to work shit jobs out in space, mining crap asteroids, and selling it to rich corporations to try and like build, enough, build up enough funds to buy your first real craft, yeah. and you're always in danger of getting um, jumped by a bunch of pirates and just robbed blind and left at zero, right so, there. oh yeah, so... Uh, in the game, they have crazy economies that actually work because yeah. there's enough people playing and enough people buying and selling in these economies. Uh, it's so... And the game does nothing to baby you. Like, they don't go, yeah. hey, when you're in your shuttle, push this little button and you go forward. Like, literally, I remember getting into my spacecraft and, like, looking through the window and just being like, how do I move? Like, there's so many buttons. Like, I had to worry about fuel efficiency and the oxygen and, like, there was so much going wow. on and... I played it with my buddy Eric, and he was way, way more advanced than me, so he was helping me out a little, and he sent me all these funds through the game, and he's like, you gotta buy a good ship, and then we're gonna go mess people up, we're gonna go into, like, uncharted space, we're gonna hijack people. He sent me the money, and he's like, and I was like, how do I buy a ship? Like, he's like, well, you gotta go to where you're, they're selling the ship that you want, and I'm like, I don't even know how to do that. So he explained it, and I had to jump, like, from system to system to try and get the ship. So right. I jumped through like six systems and I finally arrive. I dock at the at the 
place. I buy the ship, and it's way more expensive. It would have taken me weeks to save up this money, but I was so happy he gave me the money. So I'm texting him. I'm like, I got the ship. I'm coming. He's like, all right, jump back. And I'm looking, and there's, you know, it took me six jumps to get there, and I noticed there's a way that only takes four to jump back. And I'm like, well, I'm going to take that way. That's right. obviously the right way. That makes sense. Terrible idea. Terrible idea. I jump two systems, and as soon as I jump into the third system, yeah. I jump right in, and immediately there's a ring of pirate ships that are all right around where I jumped in, and they completely disable my ship right away, and they're texting me, transfer us all these all this money, transfer us this money, oh or God. we'll kill you, transfer us this money, and I'm like, I'm like, I don't know whether they were role-playing or not, but I'm like, hey guys, my uh, second day playing this game, if you could uh, just uh, let me pass, that'd be great, and they're like, nope, and then... Stupid me, I think, well, I'm just going to get out of here, you know? Like, so I try to escape, but they blew me up. And that was like 150,000 credits in this game. Just gone. Just gone. I had to explain to Eric that I... What happened to I you? screwed up yeah, on the way credits. home, and he's like, where's your ship? And I'm like, it's sorry. Fun. That's brutal, it's, man. It's That's pretty, Eve Online. Yeah. Yeah. And it's still it's still going. Like, the game is, has been out for how long now? It's it went out for years. It went for years. years. Recently, it, it did, yeah. yeah. And... If, if you've been following game news, they every now and then you'll see that there's a massive yeah. battle going on in, in yeah, Eve, and it. it's like thousands upon thousands of real players fighting in space against yeah. massive, massive destroyers. Like, it's it's epic. Complicated, but epic. I don't, even, I don't even play Eve Online, and I keep hearing about these huge, like, massive, massive battles that they have. It's all PvP too, right? It is. And I, I follow along just because it sounds so complicated and amazing. Are yeah. There, even if you're not a fan. Issues? What's that? Are there any I think there's some. Uh, I think so. Okay. But all, the vast majority of, of interactions are with real players. And there's huge factions and they turn on each other. That's crazy. It's cool stuff. Anyways, that's my answer. Eve Online. Eve Online. Most complicated game. Damn it. Now I don't even know what to... My most complicated game? Yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm thinking. I don't have an answer quite as... as... Farmville. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Farmville. Uh, no. I, my most recent most complicated game that I've played um, is Breath of the Wild. Um, okay. Not because it's difficult and not because it's... Um, like, it's not hard, but there's just so much to it and so many different abilities and 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 different weapons that you can have and trying to coordinate where to go and trying to figure that out um i did you ever figure out how to slide on a shield yes okay i still haven't figured that out i use the internet okay that oh yeah sense. yeah yeah how to, yeah how to, do that. How, I, how to slide down with the shield truth, I still haven't truth be it told out. i was probably a good 30 hours in when i did it for the first time though so gotcha. I, I get it it's they yeah, so there's there's a lot, a lot. Now I'm not too far into it, admittedly, which I'm a little bit embarrassed to admit. Um, but I definitely have a hard time with that one. Um, but the other game that goes back years and years and years, and I actually don't remember much about the game. I just remember that it being super, super hard and super um, challenging for us. But we were also kids, so that might be part of it too. It was Cool World. For Super huh. Nintendo. Oh my God. I remember we got remember that game. That we got that game. And I must have been like eight or nine years right. old at this point. Uh, maybe a little bit older, 10 or 11. And it was me and like my, my, my cousins that were all starting to play this game. None of us could get past like the first little area or the first level. None of us had any idea what to do. No idea. And I don't remember. I don't even remember how much of it. But I, we spent hours on this game and we couldn't, we couldn't figure out anything whatsoever. Cool world for Super Nintendo. Did you play that? I did. Do you remember it at all? I hated that game. It was a <laughs> stupid game. What was the, what was the <laughs> point of the game? Like, what? I don't even remember. It was uh, like you're. I, I mean, usually sometimes in the title you'll get the point of the game. Do you remember the oh. movie Cool World? No. There was a movie. Okay. Yeah. The game was based on the movie. Okay. The whole time you were yeah. talking about it, I was thinking about Cool Spot. Remember Cool Spot? I remember Cool like, Spot was the 7-Up guy. He was the, yeah, the mm. dog from 7-Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're yeah, on the yeah, beach yeah. running yeah. around. Okay, now I'm Cool World. I cool got World. you. Okay. Yeah. So that one, that one was probably, hit, in my history of playing video games, that was probably the most complicated one. We couldn't get past the first little bit. I think I have it. I have. I should probably pick it up and see if, if I can get past that little God's area. Me. What about you, buddy? Me? Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure I've played some games that I've thought have been pretty complicated, but right now none come to mind. So I'll, what I'll mention is a game I was actually streaming last night. 
It's a free to play. Some people call it pay to win. Uh, it'll have transactions in it, but it's early access. It's called Cross Out. Okay. And it's from the same guys that make War Thunder. Same, you, you know, tanks. Uh, tanks. Uh, War, World of Tanks. Oh War, yeah, yeah, yeah. War Thunder is like uh, airplanes. Yeah, and, yeah. and uh, I think it's mainly airplanes, but but anyways, it, it's Cross Out's on PS4. But it's also on PC, but on PC, I believe it's early access. I'm not sure if it's full on, on PS4. And um, the reason I bring that up is when you say complicated, the most complicated game, I was lucky last night when I was actually streaming it because I had someone who has played it for the last couple of weeks and knew what was what. If I had to go through it, I would be at the mercy of the tutorial that it had. It had a tutorial phase, yeah, which is good because that's what it's there for, to teach the person who's playing. But... <clears throat> Half the stuff I didn't even know, and the tutorial wasn't even going into it, because they have... Uh, okay, I'll give you the premise of what it is. It's basically you're in a post-apocalyptic world, and it's pretty much all vehicles. So you build vehicles from scratch, from the ground up. Now, when you begin your first time, you build... Uh, everyone gets the same basic vehicle. And each vehicle has a certain amount of what's called a power score. The higher your power score basically means that the vehicle is a more powerful vehicle. And you have to provide it with power, so you have to have a uh, fuel or a power cell on it. You have you can put weapons on it. The more weapons you put, the more of that power is used. You can go so far as to put rockets on it. You can go so, so far as to fortify your cab, the main cab. And the cab is essentially your heart of the vehicle. And if that cab gets destroyed, you're out of the game. And essentially, you, you build your vehicle from the ground up. So what's nice about it, this is the part I find fun and addictive, is that you can build it any way you want it. You can put, you know, six tires across the side. You can put cool. metal plating on it. You can put a rocket launcher and two uh, regular guns on the front. or you know, So you have complete control over the build. But, of course, as you level up and gain levels, you, um, you're limited to how much you can do per, per vehicle. Yeah. And as you continue to play in games, you then eventually get to a new level. You get more unlocks, and you can build more and add more to the vehicle. And the whole point of it is you go out there in the world and you fight against other guys. So it's an online multiplayer and you're driving around with your vehicle and you're shooting and targeting the enemy and you got to kill out the other team. So there's several types of games. You've got to kill out the other team or you've got to take their base. <clears throat> or you can even do what they call raids, which are a computer against the computer you're playing. And it's up to four people's people playing so if you were all playing it online you would join in one of us would be the leader and we'd have to either escort a vehicle from point a to point b and keep all the bad guys off it or we have to destroy all the fuel depots uh and then keep all the bad guys off us and, and then we win type thing so it's good but the reason i bring up complicated is because there's like a faction system a leveling system point system coin system which then translates to you could buy real with real money you could buy coins to get more stuff so it's as i'm going through it and i'm learning and i'm playing and i'm slowly making my way up i'm going holy cow i didn't know i could do that oh my goodness i can do this and you can like you can literally go into edit mode and move your gun left right up down you can edit oh. it. so there's a lot it's not just a simple shoot 'em up it's like there, it's deep you can build you can join factions you can get into different uh, trees with perks. You can, uh, there's an engineering, there's different, there's factions and then there's different um, build, uh, what do they call them? One was engineering, one was another one, I can't remember. But basically build styles or build, so it unlocks a whole different kind of weapons that you can use. Um, it's what's fresh in mind. So yeah. when you said that, I was like, okay. That was kind of complicated. In fact, if I were to sit down and play that game without even having that friend of mine who was kind of telling me about it, I would have been there going, what the heck's going on? Like, what, what do I do? I don't get what this is. What is that? Like, I built a unicycle with a missile launcher. Like, oh, where are the enemies? And one other thing that's pretty cool about it, which is, that doesn't have to do with complicated, but I thought it was really sweet, is the fact that if you build something, you can publish it as a blueprint. And I can look on the blueprints in the, uh, it's called Expedition or, Expedition or Exploration, I can't remember. And in there, I can see your design, and I can ride it. I can test drive it. I can try it out, okay. which is pretty pretty sweet. See, what I, I would kind of like that, that complicated game called Spore. Oh, yeah. I'm, oh, right. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I loved Spore, man. You did? Oh, I did. I, was okay. probably, I, I did play it, too. I bought it. I bought it. I just loved... 
creating. I don't even. I didn't even care about the actual game, but I just love creating. The creating, adventures. and that's what, how I feel about Cross Out. Yeah. I I would wish that they'd have just a creative mode. Yeah. Where all I get to do is create them. People can play them and give me feedback, and I'll re. Do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got banned for actually making a very phallic creature and oh. posting it, and I got banned. But I was younger then. <laughs> you would do the same now. I, I I would be even better at it now. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I'd be able to like sneak Years it past the, uh, the ban system, and it would still be... Yeah. I'd still get my joke in. See, in a game like that, though, I would worry, not in Spore, but in this... In Cross, cross, cross Out. out cro- I would cross worry out. that there would be... I said crossover. A type of thing that you could build that would just be so much more effective than everything else and then everyone online would just be learning that. that's that the thing, thing right like you, you're 100 percent right in fact one of the guys i was playing because i was playing with two or three people they were saying that people see someone's vehicle and that vehicle just wiped out everybody on the map and then they so all they copy it. it yeah they know what parts are part because they are used to knowing what parts are available so they build one of their own version, which wouldn't necessarily be untrue for the wasteland, though. If you, if, you know, if you saw someone get get nuked in the, in, is it? I'm, I'm assuming it's like a wasteland. Yeah, it's it basically like a wasteland. You're like in, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It's, it's it equates to Mad Max. Exactly. Yeah. So if I if I saw you drive by and just like level a whole town, I'd be like, dude, that's a sweet ride. But then you do they, do they like release new stuff that comes out to? Because I would imagine that they would, you know, like, you're trying to equalize the playing field, yeah. right? So you nerf some I would imagine they do, but, but, but it's still not even a full, like, it's not out yet. Like, it's, oh, it's okay, okay, access. Okay, so okay, in other words, you. when you go to their website, you're downloading a beta. It says it's beta. Go yeah. ahead and play, but it's beta. I think that's going to be their biggest challenge, then, is, is balancing. Yeah. Keeping it fair to try and make something of your own instead totally. of just pick the best thing and roll out, right? Yeah, right. So, good to know. Cool. Cool. Most complicated game. Pretty long <laughs> cool answers. World. Cool world. Good cool choice. World. That game cool. was so stupid. Cool world. Challenging game. Complicated though. Did you ever not know what you were doing? Yeah, the whole time. Okay. We picked fair. it up. We got past the the menu screen. We're like, what the fuck are we supposed to do? Sounds like Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Minecraft. There's some guides in it now. Now, like, but when we knew for PC, it was like make a fire. Oh my god, it's dark. What do I do now? I can't see anything. Right. Yeah. Right. Cool. Next, Next question. All right, Aggie, you're up. Come up. Aggro. Terrible at this. Games that made you laugh out loud. Okay. <clears throat> Games that made you laugh out loud. Oh, man. Everyone think about this. <laughs> it's gonna be like dead air. No, I I think I got one. I'll jump in. I know there are funnier games out there, but I just want to like answer quick and, and answer and answer well because this one definitely has made me laugh out loud. And keep in mind, it doesn't always have to be the story that makes you laugh. It could right. just be the gameplay. And for me, you could pretty much pick any of the Grand Theft Auto games, and there's always moments in those games that just crack me the hell up. Uh, there's always some just ridiculous, like just the craziest jump and you bail out and you, you know, you get hit by a car. I don't know. Like there's so many times where I, it just made me laugh. So plus even to be honest, the story does have a pretty good sense of humor. Okay. So the, the writing is pretty, pretty good. So Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto. Laughed out loud. I have one. Okay. Okay. Dungeon Keeper. Oh, hell yeah. The yeah. narrator. The, the narrator, narrator is, is incredible. the best. Um, also, the narrator, they actually translated the, the narrator into several different other languages, and they translated him into Polish. Okay. And the Polish narrator is absolutely hysterical. In the game? In the game. Have you ever played Have you played Dungeon Keeper? No, I haven't. Oh. We're going to gift you it next time. Yeah, Steam yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's not on Steam. It's on GOG. Okay. Yes. I was like, just don't say Origin. <laughs> yeah. um it's on it's on gog um i'm gonna gift it to you because it is amazing um and they recently sorry there was another company so uh dungeon keeper was made by bullfrog uh bullfrog was bought by i think ea okay. um so dungeon keeper there was a first one and a second one and they never came out with the third one um so what another company did was they made a game that was similar in style um, but they actually hired the original narrator to narrate the newest version. 
As always, amazing. Uh, what is the game called? Uh, War for the Overworld. It's on Steam. Yes. Okay. I love it. It's it's very much like um, an ode to the original, um, and they do it very well without it being the same game. It's also great, um, but the same narrator, and he's still hilarious. Hmm. Yeah. You've never do, played Dungeon Keeper. Do you know the concept no. of it? So the no, cops gonna ask. What, what the concept of it is that. Instead of you're the hero and you're going into the dungeon to try and get the treasure and defeat the yeah, beast, yeah. you are the beast. Okay. And you basically yeah. build a dungeon that's a death trap for, for the, the adventurers heroes. that are trying to come in and get you. Yeah. So you, you, are they, you raise they, minions. And so there's a little bit of like but base building. are the building. adventurers that are com- trying to come in and get you, are they other players? Or uh, they so are, there is some multiplayer. There is some multiplayer, yeah. but it's not usually the heroes. Like, you play as a dungeon keeper, um, and you're on the evil side, right? Uh, okay. I think even their their tagline is, like, evil never felt so good or something like that. <laughs> yeah. um, so when you play multiplayer, you're just playing keeper versus keeper, um, and you try to nuke it, like to duke it out between the two of you. Right. Um, but in terms of the heroes, the heroes are always the NPCs. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. They'll mess you up if you're not ready to. Yeah. If you've been taking your time, building your base, making it look all nice, and then someone barges in and starts messing things yeah. up, it's oh. a bad time. It is a bad time. <laughs> um, so you build a whole bunch of rooms, um, and you build up your dungeon. You and pull gold in your yeah. treasure room. Build like, traps. It's pretty awesome. And then you have some minions that you can that you can recruit that don't get along with other minions, so you have to like keep them separate and stuff wow, like that. Okay. Oh, it's amazing. It's so yeah, good. I think you, even in the original one, they kind of they would kind of tell you who the hero that's coming to get you is, so you get a little bit I of backstory yeah. about like yeah. who this guy is and, and, and you know. The narrator eggs you on that you need you need to put an end to him, and you do in glorious fashion. Right, <laughs> and the narrator is hilarious. Great game though. Oh, so good. Pretty One nice. of my favorites for sure. I don't even know, man. I'm trying to think of a time that I played a game and I laughed out loud. I mean, you always laugh though. You're always laughing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> say anything. Uh, no, no. I'm thinking of some serious games. No, nope, that's not good. Like Last of Us was awesome, but. It's not a laughy game. game. I know. That's why I'm saying no. no, no. Uh, there's a few moments that are a little bit more lighthearted, but I wouldn't oh, very few. Uh, I would judge I would you say, if you chose that uh, as your laugh. A good one that had a laugh now and then here and there was uh, Portal. Hell yeah. Portal okay. was Dude, hilarious. even just the song. Yeah. The, still the song at the end. Is still incredible. Alive. I have it yeah. on my iPhone. It's great. Yeah. It's so well it's done. so well done. And it, the, the thing is this, and you're going to hate me for this, Okay. I played Portal, finished it through. This was on Xbox when the orange box came out. Yeah. Remember that? Oh, I yeah. have that. And loved it. It was so much fun. Uh, smart, smirky remarks. And that's, that's what really made the game. Yeah. Um, GLaDOS. GLaDOS, yeah. But uh, I also have uh, Part 2, and I haven't played it yet. I've watched see the look at it. I I'm haven't so played it either. But yeah. I haven't played it either. Shame on both of you. Yeah, it's uh Portal 2. Honestly, I'll take the rest of this episode. You go play. There's two computers <laughs> in the other room. I have it I have it on mine. Just play it right now. So I've watched people streaming it. Yeah. And it looks hilarious. And uh what's the guy that's there? We we Wilton Wheaton? Will Will Wheaton? Will Wheaton? Will Wheaton? Is it Wheaton? No That's the only one that sounds there's Gladys, but Gladys is kinda like your ally. Oh, Am I spoiling stuff? No. Okay. It's been out. It's been, it's been out, out for, for like. A long if time. you haven't played it yet, I haven't played. Uh, it yet. Um, I haven't played. I haven't played <laughs> it yet. So okay, I gotta play it. I get the message. Okay, but uh, I've watched people playing it, and it's got the new physics with the uh, what looks like that that um, it's like gel gel that, that you throw on the ground and it makes you bounce faster, faster, yeah, faster, yeah whatever. Um, so I'm gonna play that, but that one there actually, believe it or not, even though I haven't played it, struck me as funnier. Just watching it, and I laughed out loud like crazy. Portal with that Two, one. yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. And there's some there's some good twists in Portal Two. Okay, they I do never... a good job of not just making it like you're in a testing lab. Like you get a little bit of context about the testing lab. Okay. And what's really going on? So that's the thing. I've I've seen people streaming it, but I haven't seen enough of it to really know what the whole game's about. So if I yeah. play it, it'll be like new to me. So do it. Yeah. Honestly, it's the kind of game that doesn't rely on graphics to be good. Yeah. So it's just got great physics. Yeah. So even though time has passed, you could play it and still have a blast. It's not the kind of game that I think would age. Okay. Early. Okay. Like, I'd go back and play it, to be honest. I should. <laughs> now, I, now you want to play if it? If I can play it through again before you try it for the first time, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> 
<laughs> they're doubly upset. Okay. Just saying. I gotta make a point of playing it. Okay, <laughs> gotcha. You got your homework. <laughs> that's it. Is that it? That's it. That's all. Yeah. Is that good. that little ding? That means that's time. The little ding? I don't know. That was a ding. It's time to end the show? I don't know. All right. The yeah. ding happens. So that's today's episode. Anyone want to do the sign off? Thank you all for joining us. Smash that like oh, button. Gosh. Smash you, that like you button. You went there? I did. I did. I knew she was going. To. I had okay, to. Okay, I had okay, to. okay, 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 okay. Okay. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. <laughs> that's a hard. That's a harder sell than the like button. Damn. And comment what you want us to talk about. Yeah. We're gonna add it to our. Yeah. Our, we the, still got a bowl, so we got some comp, We got some stuff to talk about too. But we'd love for you to get involved. So absolutely, please do. Bye, everyone. Bye. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> this is so awkward. Handle the intro, Aggie. Hi. Don't ask me to handle the intro. I can't right. the intro. What's up? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. At least I'm trying here.